Rock and roll. It's very lacquer. Um, okay, let's get on to CBDNN. Let's talk some news. Um, this week ENCA picked up on a story that was kind of in the press about a cannabis uh, uh, college that mm. they want to put together in the Eastern Cape. <coughs> and Myrtle and I weren't that surprised, really, that it was the Eastern Cape, because <coughs> they're on at the Eastern Cape. Yeah, we uh, met their premier, and we met his office, and they were at Canatech as well. Those yeah. dudes, the Eastern Cape dudes, they got the book, and we told them about Carsinomics, so now they want to open this college. Um, Anyone here think it's a bad idea? No, <laughs> no I think it's brilliant. Are we all on the same page? No, that's yeah. a brilliant idea. I think it's a idea. bloody brilliant idea. Yeah. Mm. Do you think we can pull it off? Of course we can. I, I think we're, you guys should. We're, yeah. No, no, but not us, them. Not us. With the state of education, with 20% pass rate, they would need, fucking they the would, trick or whatever they, they, they would need a lot of help from us professionals that know <coughs> what needs to go so, into a college, or at least to go into this curriculum. Yeah. Do you think that they would employ a felon like you? They'd be stupid not to. I think exactly. so. Exactly. Yeah, what about <coughs> the other folk that are all around here? Well, that's that anybody that's been in this industry would be stupid not to actually speak to any of us. But and think that you can go to someone else. Because we're sitting in a room full of fucking PhDs. That hasn't right grown here. the plant. I mean, <laughs> literally. So yeah. they're going to have to listen to the folk that have been growing it for a while because mm. they're the only people that can tell you how to grow it. Yeah. And maybe and we profit. know nothing about growing in the Ponderland. Maybe it's well, a whole nother... I'm not going to go and tell them how planet. to grow in the Ponderland. I'd rather get, tell them to get someone that's growing in the Ponderland to tell them how to grow yeah. in the Ponderland. But now, yeah. Here's my question. <laughs> Would that course ever end? Because you'd register, <laughs> and then next year you'd be like, shit, I didn't go back, because it's changed. <laughs> It'd be like Scientology. So you'd have to like, constantly be going back to... The Scientology years. school of... Just to learn. Well, pay another grand and you'll get enlightened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really is a good idea. <coughs> no idea where it was. I didn't say where it see where it was. I'll tell you another thing that's been going on is a language barrier. Mm -hmm. There might be some sort of opportunity for curriculum in COSA. But they, they should just add it to the normal agricultural curriculum college. What's that's a good point. Don't yeah. open normal a whole college just college. for cannabis curriculum. That's a very Rather good point. put it into the agricultural college where people be like more interested to go and learn about growing plants. You know what I mean? It's like or you have a cannabis-focused <laughs> university that works on growing, extraction, etc. Et yeah, yeah, I, I, so I that think that it's better to integrate it with our current agricultural colleges because we have a good we have a good system there. The people that do it do it really well, but we need to just normalize it, bring it in with them, and make it this is another crop. Yeah. Come and learn it with the course. other people that grow. So yeah. you're not just sitting in a bubble where you think you guys know everything about growing weed because you think you're fucking god now. Yeah. Mm. Go and sit with growers that yeah. grow pumpkins and potatoes and yeah, crops. Exactly. And yeah. Because growing 10 plants in your yard is nothing, nothing like growing a hectare of plants. <laughs> yeah. Don't even think of it like there's, there's, there's just other stuff that you have to try and get into. Horticulture. So, Agriculture. Yeah, yeah. Two separate things. So, so this is a college of agriculture. This is not growing skunk in the backyard. If you this want, is agricultural yeah. industrial hemp. Hem. If you want to learn how to grow or get a certificate to grow weed, go online and do it. Do it there. That'll teach you how to grow weed through a book. If you want to learn how to do agriculture, grow this plant and do it properly. Right. Yeah. Go to the colleges that do it right. I think they should integrate. I mean, they should also have like a business school yeah. so that all everyone who's thinking of getting in yeah. can yeah. actually get wised up into what it's going to take. <clears throat> What's happening in terms of regulation? What are all the variables mm. to make this viable? So we just cut your time down in terms of sure. <coughs> what if you the the entry level must be exactly the same as an agricultural college then? That's if you want to go and study there, if you want to study there, then you have to have I don't know a trick to get to it. Or well, you don't give a f you don't you're yeah. not going to let some guy come do do like a farming a, a course or, or degree or diploma if he doesn't qualify for it. So why should someone that doesn't have that then... That's my question, yeah. There is, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Is this if, like a grassroots thing where everybody can pull in and learn how to grow yeah, weed? Yeah. Yeah. Or is this now, you, you've done a matric, you've set your interests up and you want to be a farmer? Because are you going to be a data grower or are you going to be a farmer? What's the well, what's the Well, they might be able to have like an FET college that would bridge that gap <coughs> so that they could get the training from A to, to from whatever what their knowledge is to college. Yeah, just like a greenhouse diploma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just get a diploma to work in a greenhouse somewhere. <coughs> yeah. You know, regardless of the. And do, and do you think there, do you think we need we as South Africa needs any foreign um, interest in it to. For expertise, do we need foreign experts to teach people no. that stuff? No, do you think, we, 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 do you think we, we got enough going on here to know 
What about growing weed en masse? Nobody yeah. really, really knows how to grow weed en masse yeah. yet. I mean, you've just quoted 50 million gazillion tons of them. Yeah, I mean, that's seen. up to they him. They know how to right? do that. Yeah, They've been doing it for years, yeah. but to grow a few plants, 50, 80, in a clandestinely on mm. the side of a mountain, is different than doing 10 hectares down a floodplain. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So maybe, we've never, nobody knows about that shit yet. So so maybe it's the practice, the, it's the... Some foreign expertise might have to come in the, for um, on mass growing. What do you call it? The processes that are exactly the same as any mass farming process. Yeah. Right. You just change the plant that gets put in the ground. Sure. So <coughs> we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We just need to adapt what's being taught in the proper colleges right. to this crop and yeah. use... That's it. None of the other plants in the college are in the 1992 drugs <laughs> <laughs> trafficking act. Well, now it will be, so yeah. it'll be normalized, which is great. Cool story. Uh, Myrtle did really good. Uh, the, the, the clips up there, the clips on the Ducker Couple YouTube channel, they asked really cool questions, and of course she stepped up to the plate. We went down there with a few hours' notice of 4 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Hmm. We could have, we were like sitting in our pajamas, vegetating to nothingness. <laughs> yeah. And then they said, hey, and we, of course you go. Yeah. Because ENCA knocks it out. They put it round and round and round. And even the courier dude that came the other day goes, hey, bro, I saw you on the TV. <laughs> So everybody watches it. It's true. And it was all over Twitter. So I think it's a really cool idea. But there are some naysayers and dudes saying, ah, it can't be done. Um, what's the pass rate? How do you know if you pass? <laughs> what does it say on the <laughs> certificate? What does it say on the certificate? Yeah. Do a full panel screen. Okay, no sides or that. You pass. <laughs> it's a great place to do it. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. There's someone, so what's your, uh, Cavs ZA. What about the old toppies? The ones I've been doing since the 70s and 80s. Well, if they want to get into agriculture, then they still have to go the same process. I mean, come on, but... Yeah, I think so. Um, but, like I'm let's saying... See, they, they let's see how big it becomes, and let's see how inclusive it becomes. Mm -hmm. Is it like the same... It could be a government-sponsored FET program to bridge that gap, and then the Fucking government... Imagine how many applicants... Yeah, it's imagine still a good it's thing to do, not, not to, to do shut do down the guys that aren't... College. Pursuing this as a, say, career where they need to be five years down studying to be able to yeah, qualify. Long -term There's some guys that want to do maybe short courses. Right. Yeah. So you would offer that short course. Day, that short weekend course. stuff. Yeah, short course of just basic growing Great of the cannabis idea. plant. Mm. Basic growing of the potato plant. <clears> or <throat> go to the next valley and give them a slideshow of what you're doing at the college. Yeah. So you don't have to bring to get the people there because yeah. yeah. in Eastern Cape, getting 20 people to the same place will take you all day. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to go out there, exactly. You've got to go out there. It's very, yeah. very uh, different timescales. Jess. <laughs>